65 mile an hour as long as 95 mile an hour at a time, okay? 95? Yes, sir. Stop fuel. We're going 208 miles in the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. And I guess it's about that time to start today's video. We are indeed on a road trip in the Hellcat. We are going to the 2019 Ferrari Club of America Biltmore Experience. And of course, I was supposed to do this in the F12, but um, yeah, a couple videos ago, if you've seen it, yeah. So that explains that we can't do it in the Ferrari, so we're doing it in the Hellcat instead. This is my buddy's car. Okay. So I'll show you his. No, that is just fine. Yeah, it's no problem. Yeah, he's from Ohio. I'm from PA, so our stuff looks a little different. Right, right, right. That'll be just fine. Listen, give me a few minutes. Let me check in. All right. No problem. Where are you headed to? Uh, Asheville. Okay. For a Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting you say that. I've seen a few go by and there's one broke down at the bottom of the mountain. has got a flat tire and that's where they were headed. Oh, really? Yeah. The reason I'm driving this car is because mine uh, broke down two days ago. <laughs> oh. Okay. Give me a second. I'll get you All right. anyway, okay? All righty. Thank you. Well, he's a nice officer. Um, yeah, I was probably speeding a little bit. We're going down this big old mountain as well, so without even being on the throttle, I was probably speeding. <laughs> He's taking his little time. So the officer said this is his favorite car. He is driving a Dodge Charger, and I'm sure they have uh, souped it up a little bit, but uh, maybe it's not as fast as a Hellcat, I don't know. <laughs> Speeding up, I stopped it at 95, and that's when I pulled out. I don't think I got a little faster than that. Oh my goodness. 95 at least. Uh, these cars are easy to do downhill. I know. Uh, anyway, here, lots of registration back, okay? okay. Look, citation's gonna be free speed, which is 95 and 65, reckless driving is that speed, okay? Three ways to handle it here. Your quarter date's not gonna be until July the 2nd, all right? First off, there's a website on here. Check that website first. Some of this stuff can be handled online. You can request reductions and things like that. It's technically a mandatory court appearance, but speed and defense and some of them can be handled through the online process. So check that on there first. Okay. okay. Option number two is you can appear on your own on your court date and they'll give you a fine and fee. You're asking, hey, you want to take care of it or give you some options. Uh, I know you're not from here, so option number three, what you can do is you probably can get letters in the mail or you can contact an attorney, file one online or something in this area. You can have them come and show up and pay your fines and stuff for you and represent you. Uh, you can do that on your own, but like I said, they, they do allow that. Okay. Like I said, I'll check that website first. There's more information stuff on there, but I'll tell you how to take care of it. All right. So be careful. It's the last race you've got to go down before between here and Asheville. Yep. But the speed limit drops a couple times. There's a 60 and a 55 between here and Asheville, so watch out for those changes. All right. I can't even believe that it was 95 miles an hour and that, that I was going faster than that, and he, like, turned it off, whatever he called it. I have a hard time believing that it was that fast. Maybe 
it was because I was going downhill, I wasn't even thinking about it, and there was like no cars around. When I saw him, it was the only thing in a three lane, you know, long highway going down a mountain. There was no cars around. <coughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to contact an attorney or ticket dismissers or whatever, whoever you contact in situations like this. <laughs> I've never really been pulled over for speeding in a, a different state before, so I don't know how to deal with it. I, I don't, you know, I don't see myself flying to North Carolina to appear in court. Uh, oh well. So Waze just told me that uh, there's a cop, which it is, sitting right up there. However, they obviously didn't tell me that <laughs> when I was just pulled over. <laughs> Waze isn't 100% perfect. He better, I mean, I haven't done anything wrong now. Better not be pulling me over. Sitting there with his lights on and stuff. No, he's pulling someone else over. Oh, there's two cops. There was an unmarked cop car, too. Pulling over a little Nissan Sentra. Man, they don't play here in North Kakilak. God, it's pretty here. We're almost at the Biltmore Estate, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so here we are. We've actually been at the Biltmore grounds for two full days now with the Ferrari Club of America and it's been absolutely awesome. The Hellcat's just been sitting here. Now there's gonna be a separate video on this whole experience. It's, uh, again, been amazing. Now, I've been, I've been thinking about this a lot, this whole reckless driving charge that I got and uh, the more I think about it and that whole situation, I feel that that's not fully justified to uh, give me reckless driving for going downhill on a big highway down a mountain and just cruising along and getting reckless driving for 95 miles an hour. I still don't, you know, I don't know, believe that it was 95 miles an hour. Now, another theory that I have is uh, this 6.2 liter supercharged V8 with 707 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque in the Hellcat is a deadly combination for something like this because the car is so comfortable. Uh, you know, if I would have been in my F12, I I don't know. I don't know if this would have happened because the F12 is so different. It's a lot more raw than the Hellcat's completely different suspension. You can tell when you're going 100 miles an hour, although you get there very quickly. It's not the comfortable experience of the Hellcat. This thing just floats around. doesn't matter how fast you're going. You don't really feel like you're going that fast because the car is so comfortable. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you're watching this video and uh, you're an attorney <laughs> in North Carolina, hit me up if you want to help me out. Uh, I definitely am not going to be okay with a reckless driving charge. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out. It's not like I was zigzagging through traffic and driving like a maniac and risking people's lives. You know, reckless driving, yeah, it just doesn't sound good. That's not what I was doing. I was cruising down the mountain and it's so gorgeous. You can't really see much of the mountains from this spot I'm standing right here, but over there, I mean, it's just a beautiful state to drive through, at least this part of North Carolina because of the Appalachian Mountains. And that's what I was doing. I was just looking at nature, and I, I agree, I was driving uh, probably a little too fast, but 95, I don't know about all that. So now it's about, yeah, 7.35 in the morning. It's Sunday, I have a pretty long drive back home, 470 miles in the Hellcat. I'll be checking my speed a little more. But yeah, <laughs> we're praying for the best here. No more speeding tickets. And I'll see you guys when I get back home. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.